Hello my dear friends, there isn't any tutorial today, today I want to show you something interesting. Have you ever think how you can manipulate with one direction, how you can calculate it and simulate it, how you can do it without any powerful workstation in browser? If yes, stay with me, I have one solution for you. You will find it very interesting. The program which we will use today is SimScale. SimScale is a cloud-based simulation platform that gives access to element analysis technology in standard web browser. With this tool you can virtually test CAD models in minutes, compare design versions and make improvements based on the result. To achieve the result you need just a few things, your model and SimScale register account. Let's say you're working with concept in Rhino. Once you have done your mass model, you want to check it, isn't your design idea is the best or no? So is it possible? Yes, it is. You can create an account, link you will find below this video in the description. After that, create the new project. You can do it by a few clicks. Name your project and write something about it in the description. Now it's time to load your model. Please make sure you saved all your future simulating files. Upload your files in the browser and after choose format. Now just wait, not much, just a few seconds. Done! You did it! As you can see, you need being scientist to use the software. Project Browser is user-friendly and you will find everything that you want in a few seconds. But if you want some video tutorials, you may find the link below this video and the description. Ok, let's get it going a little higher. What about simulating skyscraper? Famous skyscraper. Tallest one. Yes, I am talking about the Burj Khalifa. Here is my Rhino model. Let's load it up inside to the sim scale and simulate wind speed. As you can see, it's not only informative, it's also the beautiful. You can use it in your presentation to inspire your client or teacher. So, go to the description and use it. I know you will find a lot of ways to use the sim scale. I hope you will find it really useful. Thank you guys and see you soon.